Hi everyone, this is my first video ever to the general public and I've decided to make something useful. Uh, I'm going to show you the most important step in order to fix the Canon ink absorber being full error message that so many of you got. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I got the same error from this uh, Canon printer a um, couple of weeks ago and I tried to look online and I found a lot of information but uh, all of them describes you the general steps, the general idea but something is missing which is how do you disassemble a Canon printer uh, without losing too much time and how much do you need to disassemble it uh, if you do the research you'll find maybe a Russian video there um, but it's not very good quality there's another video that I found not very good quality and it's not necessarily the the Canon printer that you're looking for so today we have the Canon MP240 and um, this is what you need you need first a pair of chopstick some plastic plastic wrap plastic film whatever you can use for your hand you need a lot of light you need um, potentially this uh, little electric torch and that's all you need oh yes you need uh, some something to hold the ink pads so if you read the YouTube uh, articles they will tell you to remove the ink pads but in order to do that you need to access it and it's a little bit difficult and uh, they will tell you to disassemble the printer, etc., etc., and that's pretty scary. Um, but I figure out a way how to do it, so watch it very carefully. First, behind the printer, you have these two screws here. You need, do you see them? You need to remove these two screws, all right? Then, once you remove these two screws, the part here is can be bent over see it was like this now you can bend it over and that's going to be very useful because you're gonna need that extra space um, that extra margin of space in order to remove um, part of the cover so now what you're gonna do is by the way this is the proof that I have the MP240 here so what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove the main cover here I've already removed for you, but you can see that um, the hinges goes through this hole here. It's very easy to remove. So that's one part. Now that we now that we remove this part, you can see on the top you have um, the mirror or the scan or the glass part, right? You need this is what you need to do. You need to take it out like this, and because the part here was already disassembled or partially disassembled. It is flexible, so this part is going to lay on, lay on the other part here and you're going to have enough space. By the way, this was fixed somewhere here. Do you see it? In order to take it out, you need to bend it a little bit so it, it gets out of those um, the frame, then you can remove it. All right, so now that you have done that, uh, you can see that I've already removed actually the ink. I put the ink over here behind it. But I forgot to tell you um, there's one step you needed to do that and that's written on the articles. Um, you need to uh, first turn on, you had to turn on first the, the printer so that those um, ink holders, ink cartridge holders, uh, placed itself in the middle of the printer so it gets out of the way of the ink pads and then once it's when once they are in this position you just have to remove and power it this is the the power plug you just have to unplug it and uh, the ink cartridge holders will stay onto this position now where are the ink pads well, if you look closely to the right, this is where they are. I don't know if you can see them. Let me get my electric torch. There it is. This is where they are. There are two of them. This is the first one, and the other one is here. If you look closely on the first one, I already removed it. Uh, how did I remove it? 
this is where you need the chopstick you need just one chopstick and the way I did that is by um, you take the chopstick you insert it in the hole here let me do it again with the electric torch and you just need to press a little bit until the things um, the pads come out right so if you look at the second one here closely I've I've already started it um, it's not very clear here there it is do you see I've already pushed a little bit here and if I push it further it will come out so this is the part let me do it again there it is this is the part where you need to be extra careful because if it falls out somewhere and gets lost in the printer then you kind of lose it you'll have to disassemble the entire printer and if you don't know how to do it that's going to take you a lot of time so i'm going to be extra careful i'm not going to do it here now that ink pad here let me show you how it looks like this is how the ink pad looks like um, not sure if you the focus is pretty good uh, not very good so I'm gonna leave it here so that ink pad um, was originally dark um, full of ink so what I did is I simply washed it and uh, that's it and then once uh, both of them are washed and dry I'll put them again and that's how you remove the ink pads uh, and wash them in order to fix the Canon uh, MP240 ink absorber uh, being full message. Uh, I think the same concept applies to the other printers, although there could be some variation uh, in how those um, ink pads holder are uh, located. But I would not be able to tell you, I'm not an expert. So you can see the other one here uh, is right here and it's uh, dark it's full of ink and it needs to be cleaned uh, so I'm gonna take the chopstick and then I'm gonna use this plastic here this plastic wrap here you know is something you can find for one cent or whatever you I'm sure you have some plastic at home and I'm just gonna try to you know insert my fingers there and grab it and that's how I do and once I'm done with that, I'll just put back all those parts back to how to where they used to be. And that's it. You don't need to remove these covers. You don't need to remove this or do a bunch of fancy stuff. All you need to do is being able to see uh, those uh, ink pads uh, holders and then try to access them. And that's, that's all you need to do. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and good luck.